welcome to the vlog. This vlog is going to be about prepping for spring. Spring, not spring cleaning, but we're prepping for spring. We're getting ready for spring. We're cleaning out, we're bringing new pieces in the house, cleaning my closet, organizing my closet, bringing spring clothes into my wardrobe. So, this video will be coming out the first week of spring, so it couldn't be a better time. Um, even though today is very gloomy and cloudy, I am already in the spring mode. I have a lot of things I want to unbox with you, so I have, um, this vlog's going to be fun because I have a lot of items to unbox for myself, my home, and Rosie. And then I want to organize my closet behind me and, um, this rack right here and put some spring pieces in, add some color, and, um, just kind of like clean out for spring. Um, yeah. And it's that time of year. I love when spring comes around because I'm ready for a transition in the house. I'm ready for just a freshness. And so, um, I love when spring comes around. So it's going to be fun. First things first is I'll show you my outfit really quick in the mirror. And then I want to unbox some items with you guys because that is like, I, once I unbox those, they've been sitting in my kitchen. I want to unbox them so my kitchen looks clean and then I can finally put them away because I've been waiting to unbox them with you guys. So let's do this. Let me show you my outfit really quick and then we'll do some unboxing together. Alrighty, so here we have, I just curled my hair and then, um, okay, so this little cardigan is from the thrift store. I actually really like it. Press likes it too. He just said he liked it. I was like, oh, like, it's just a cute cardigan. I'm zooming in for y'all. And then I just have a black tank underneath. And then I went through my jeans yesterday. These are my jeans pre-pregnancy. They're um, page jeans. I threw my goldies on, but these are, um, I'm back in my size. So I'm so happy and thankful that it didn't take crazy long, so um, I'm able to wear my jeans again. I was wearing a lot of vintage Levi's, but now I'm like, I miss my little page jeans and I miss a lot of my like different styles. Um, so I'm excited to wear these jeans. Miss them so much. So um, yeah, let's go unbox together. Let's do this um, unboxing. This is a mixture I would say of unboxing because I have some stuff for Rosie, I have stuff for myself, and then I have some stuff for press. So do I have anything for press? Well yeah, maybe. Okay, so let's just do this. So this morning my mom and I and Rosie, we, we went to TJ Maxx really quick. My mom wanted to grab some linen pieces, so um, I said I'll jump in with you. So I ended up finding two pillows from Home Goods that I cannot say no to because I'm like this is so my style so French so I went ahead and got two pillows with the little details at the end I thought these were so fun I want to see where I'm going to put them if I'm going to put them in my room or in the um, living room area on my couch so I got to decide but I thought this was so fun I saw them, I was like, mom, and she goes, I know, they look like you. I'm like, just that little French look, I'm like, I have to get them. So I saw these today, they were only 25 each, so I got two of them. Press saw them, he's, at, he's like, actually, I like this. So, score. So I got two of them at Home Goods today. I thought they were so, so fun that I had to. So I'll show you how I styled those, okay? Then I got this little adorable little um, piece of decoration, little hen for um, my kitchen. I thought this was fun because it kind of looks French country, so whatever. <laughs> and then I got this little bag at the thrift store. I mean bag, this little basket at the thrift store. This was only $1.99. Thought this was really fun for like um, spring time, Easter time. Okay, and then got the book it says the story of easter so got this for rosie had to okay i'm so excited to do this unboxing because these have just been sitting here and um i feel bad that i'm like they're just 
you know, taking up space. So we got a crate and barrel order. So let me go ahead and get the scissors to unbox that. I love this. I love doing this type of vlogs because it's fun. It's different. Like I'm able to show you guys home stuff, which I've really been enjoying a lot. And then of course, fashion. I went, I cleaned out my shed yesterday. Most of it. I did, I did a good chunk of it. And, um, I was able to organize some clothes, go through some clothes. And, um, it's funny cause we're in the middle of like, well, it's winter spring is this week as when this video comes out. And, um, so, but then it's still a little chilly. It's not like totally hot. So you still need sweaters. So it's kind of in the middle. So, um, that's why it's a little hard for fashion. It's like, you know, you still wear your trench coats, you wear your sweaters, you can still wear your long sleeves because it is still cold out. So it's like, I had to have the balance. I couldn't put in all the spring dresses yet until it gets hotter here. Okay, so this is from Crate and Barrel. I ordered this mushy silicone um, bib. I really liked this pretty print. Um, Crate and Barrel has it. I can link it down below. It's called the Silicone Lilac Flowers. thought this was so pretty. I like the tan and I love the blue. It matches my kitchen. So I got Rosie this bib because we are feeding her. We are going to start feeding her. I think today we're going to, I'm going to make carrots and make it as a pure puree and smash it for her. So I'm excited about that. Then I got her this adorable um, blanket. This is a sage mint green. I have her the pink one from Crate and Barrel, but I wanted a different color as well because she uses that pink one so much that I wanted um, one for spring. So I thought this color would be really pretty for spring. So I know she's going to love it because she loves her pink one. I'll link it down below. This one comes in a pretty um, muted blue like a clay blue and that my sister has that for Brayden. Then it comes in this sage green and then it comes in pink. And I, um, I think that's it. I had to get it for Rosie. Okay, we're doing this. Okay, another order, Prime. I bought Rosie a mushy cup. This is gonna teach her how to drink from a little cup of water. It says two ounce cup with weight, weighted base. And then dishwasher safe, um, BPA, PVC, um, all that safe. Um, silicone starter cup for six months plus. My mom has sent me something on Instagram. She's like, it's good for you to give your babies water at six months. Um, but she was saying how um, to give them, to teach them how to sip from a cup. So not a sipper cup, she's like an actual cup. So I went ahead and ordered this. They had it on Amazon, even mushy.com. But I didn't see it on Crate and Barrel, um, but I had to get this. So I got it on Amazon. Okay, I know she's going to love that. I got neutral colors um, as well because I was like, you know, I can use it for my next kid if Rosie uses it like one time. <laughs> so I was trying to be smart there because, you know, it's like $10 for that little cup. So, so yeah. Okay, then guys, I... Um, Rosie loves to be in the arms. She's getting better because she's sitting in things longer. Like she'll sit in this little activity center right here. Um, her mini just got her that little swing that hangs from the door. She loves it. It gets her tired. It gives her activity. She likes being busy. But so we have the baby Bajorn and that baby Bajorn I use all the time. Just getting a little snug for her. That one is for the first, um, I think it's zero to... 12 months that one is just a little tight and it's a little heavy for me because it doesn't have that much back support for when she was an infant it was perfect but now she's seven months so I went ahead and ordered a brand new baby Bajorn um, carrier one it's called carrier one so this one's from zero to three years old this is comfy cotton um, so I went ahead and got the Beige Leopard. I thought this was so fun and so different that I had to get it. It's machine washable and it's um, padded, padded shoulder straps, easy to use buckles, adjustable head support, 
adjustable seat area, growth with your baby, comfortable waist belt. So it's more comfortable. There's like a back waist belt, so it's not going to be so crazy heavy. Multiple carrying positions and comfy cotton. So my sister got me the baby Bajoran that I used all the time with Rosie in the beginning, but now I needed something a little bigger, um, and I never knew. We both didn't know that. Well, she told me that baby Bajoran carries for bigger um, as your baby grows to three years old. So she told me about it, and so since she told me about it, I was like, oh my gosh, Destiny. So I went ahead and ordered it, but look how fun this is. I wear a lot of tans and a lot of neutral colors, so I think this is going to be really cute on with a lot of neutral colors. And I was like, because she's a girl, I said yes. So I'm so excited about this because I use it a lot. At church, I have her on me. Um, when I go down places and um, even at home when I'm doing stuff and presses at work, Rosie loves to just be on me. So I needed a bigger Bajoran. So I found that one. I'll link it down below. Found it on Amazon. Um, yeah, so I'm excited about that. Let's see what else. Okay, so I went ahead and got Rosie. I'm putting all my books in the trash right there. I ordered this from Target. I'll link it down. So this is Happy Easter Mouse. I got her the one from Valentine's Day. So I thought this was so cute. I need to create a little section in my house for Easter books and little Easter stuff because I was saying Easter is March 31st. And then we have um, St. Patrick's Day is March 17th. So I feel like I'm only going to have a little bit, like a week and a half to showcase more of my um, Easter stuff. But I want to kind of have them both together. Like, okay, right here I have St. Patrick's Day. But then I want to do maybe my kitchen area Easter so I can have both. I'm that person that likes to celebrate every holiday. So I get it from my grandma. My grandma Mercy, she does that. She celebrates every holiday. You go to her house, she has Easter stuff. You go, and then she just doesn't do St. Patrick's Day. I do it because of Preston. <laughs> I always joke with him. Okay, let's see what else is in this one. I don't know what else is in this box. Then I will do my best to link everything down below. I need to get better. My camera cut off. Um, this item right here, I don't want to share it yet because it's a product. It's a for um, it's a spray serum. It's for hydrate and radiant skin, rich with truffle, uh, and rich with white truffle from Italy. So I don't really want to share this yet because I want to try it and I want to see if I like it. It if I like it, I will share it with you guys because I don't want to share any products on here that I do not like. I want to make sure everything I share with you is something that I do like. So I want to try this because it's a product. I want to try it first. I'm going to try it for a week and then I'll let you guys know if it's worth the purchase. Okay. <laughs> and then I bought Rosie mushy spoons. I had to get her some spoons. So I got her these little baby ones from the brand mushy. I got her the neutral and then the pretty rose pink. Okay. So I got those. I'll link them down below. Um, let me see what else is right here. Oh, and then I went to the thrift store. Those were the little wiener dogs barking outside. So I went to the thrift store. I got this sweater. Just washed it and it was, oh, I haven't washed this one yet. I need to wash this and I need to take out the shoulder pads. One thing I like to do is I will do unseam, do un unseam undo the seam and I will take out the shoulder pads so it just fits a little better on me since it's an oversized blazer. I just thought this print was really pretty, really pretty. So I need to go ahead and take the shoulder pads out and wash it. Um, I want to wear it tomorrow so I need to throw it in the wash now. But yes, yeah, so that's what I needed to unbox with you guys. I think I have a couple more but I will kind of do them later on throughout this today or tomorrow because I have a couple more Rosie's clothes in her room but I don't want to do all that yet so <laughs> because it's in her room I want to go through her clothes and organize that and then my clothes and bring in spring clothes into my wardrobe so so yeah I'm gonna take a little break 
I'm gonna go eat really quick. My mom made sloppy joes. So the other night, my mom, Press, and I, and Rosie, we were watching It Takes Two with Ashley and Mary Kate. I think it's called It Takes Two. We're talking about so many movies, but I think it is. Let me look it up. Well, they eat sloppy joes, and my mom was like, I want sloppy joes. And I was like, oh, I haven't had them in forever. So my mom made sloppy joes. So Press is already over there with Rosie. Um, so I'm going to go eat, and then after I get back, I'm going to go ahead and start cleaning my closet area and my clothing rack and show you guys some spring clothes I'm, in, um, I'm impl implementing in my closet, in my wardrobe. Let me see here. Let's see here. Because, hi, do you guys remember this movie? It takes two, yes. It's right here. And they eat sloppy joes. And um, my mom was like, I want to make them. So she made them. And I'm excited to go eat them. I'm pretty hungry. It is already 1238. And I have only eaten a banana and coffee. So I'm pretty hungry. So I'm going to go eat. Then when I get back, I'll show you guys. Uh, we will kind of go through my closet together. So let me go eat really quick. Okay, guys. My house can get messy so fast. So this is all the stuff that I need to put away. That's the new baby bajor carrier. So I need to put all this away, Rosie's activity center. And then we have Miss Rosie right here. So we're trying to finish cleaning this bed, this room. <laughs> She's spinning. We got some of her toys right here. Preston's being so sweet and making the bed. All of our pillows. Then Rosie's crib, I threw a lot in it. Then this is all the clothes I got from the bin that are hers. And then some of mine I washed last night. Everything is hang drying. And then that stack up there is also mine. So our room is very messy with clothes, but it's good because it's a transition to spring. So this is what I'm going to work on right now and so clean. Christian, all it takes is like one piece of clothing because our place is smaller. Yeah. Or to feel like it's like a cramp. Exactly. So this is what I'm going to be doing. I'm going to set you guys down and I'm going to tackle this room. Right, Rose? <laughs> okay, guys. Preston's going to use this. And he doesn't mind that it's leopard. <laughs> Partially mine, He's a girl dad, so we're gonna. I'm gonna put this on him. Let's see how this goes while well, I clean and do what I gotta do. He's gonna keep her busy. You wanna help? This is for you. Oh, my baby. Mommy helping you? Oh, there we go. <gasps> there we go. Okay, guys, this is how it looks. <laughs> Preston's laughing because her little legs. A little sumo wrestler. <laughs> She's squatting. She's so cute, yo. She's all happy. It Turn around, feel, babe. I feel like I could like take a bullet with this. Like it feels Turn very around. secure. See, it's like it's more secure in the back. Yeah. It feels like if I had to go run like five miles with her, I could like easily like. See, and they're gonna go on a walk. And so. like she's all supported. Yeah. Wow, he's selling it right now. Yeah. Linking it down below. He's taking her on a walk. Let me jump with her. Dog. <laughs> and so she has her little blanket and she's all good. She has a sweater on. Say, I'm going to go have fun. Oh. What we're going to do first is I'm going to go through my closet, pull out most of the hangers, and go through it, put some stuff to the side that I need to take to my shed, and then make room for some other items that I pulled from my shed yesterday. So I'm just gonna go, kind of go ahead and go through this and make sure that everything in here I'm gonna wear and is spring worthy. Um, like this one, for instance, like I'm kind of like, this was winter, so I'm kind of like done with it. So I'm like, eh that's going in the shed. So one thing I noticed, being completely honest with y'all, um, this sweater I got from H&M, I've worn it a handful times, but look at the like, the little, like the material of it, 
kind of looks old already. I'm not that happy about it, uh, about this purchase. Um, it's just the quality is not holding up. Like this is Zara. I've had this for three years, maybe four years, and it's been great. This has been so good. And that over there is not like holding up. So I don't know, but I am kind of seeing, I mean, some H&M items are great and some kind of like get a little old looking. So it's just kind of, I guess the material and like that sweater I want to get rid of. There's certain ones I want to get rid of now and just, it's just time, you know, some items you can only have for so long and just like that one, <laughs> that got to go. Okay, so it is Tom and this one I'm going to sell. This is a free people dress. I just think it's time to sell it. I I just think it's time. It's a medium. It doesn't really fit me like it's a little bigger. So I don't want to keep anything that I shouldn't be keeping in my closet because it's time for a refresh and you know, and like this, I got that I wore this when I was pregnant after coming home from the hospital. So I'm kind of like, uh, you know, a lot of the stuff I got when I was pregnant and after I'm just kind of like, uh, I don't want to think about it right now. So I think that can go away for like two to three years. <laughs> and then I'll pull it back out and be like, yes, this was my dress for the wedding. My brother, sister-in-law's wedding. Beautiful dress. Loved it. Recommend it. Just needs to go in the shed. See like that. Like already, I already feel like I'm getting my closet's going to be so much easier to access and just easy. That's what you want when you have a closet like this here. When you have a closet, you want to feel good. You want to feel like you want to get ready because there's nothing worse than going into your closet and like just dreading getting ready because getting ready is fun. I love getting ready, but when your clothes isn't organized, when you don't have pieces that you like, it's not fun. So the whole motive here is have fun when you're getting ready. Make your closet one of your favorite spot spaces in your house because it is, the, you visit it every day. You see the closet every day. So if your closet isn't pretty, that you need to make a change. There needs to be a change. So comment down below if you agree with me. <laughs> the closet is where you spend the most of your time. So like this, I got this when I was pregnant. I wore this. Actually, I should leave this. Do I have change jackets? I wore this when I was pregnant. I don't want to see that for another couple of years. <laughs> Okay, and this, I will sell this because it does not look good on my complexion. Um, put this away. Oh gosh, I'm not going to have any more room in my shed. <laughs> Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and finish this and I'm in the time lapse myself because this is going to take a while. So let's do this. show you what I just finished doing. I took out everything in my closet that should not be here so I left myself four robes. Okay I left a couple jean jackets, leather jacket. Okay and then up here I haven't showed you all. I have my purses, all my designer purses but they're all in plastic, um, these like plastic bins now so they're all pretty and protected. 
that pink Gucci bag, I need to put my Gucci in there and then I'll close and look really pretty. And we have, I took out some robes I put away for now, left a couple of jean jackets. I'm going to hang more items as well. And then we come down here. I have some Levi's right there, New Balance, and then pants, sweaters. I have some in the washer, Preston sweaters, and then t-shirts. So that's nice down there. I just have to hang some more stuff. So it's coming along. And then I have clothes here on the floor. I need to like throw that away because that's broken. These were Levi's when I just came out, like maybe two weeks postpartum. Those were, um, so those don't fit me anymore. And then um, I'm gonna get rid of some clothes and then sweaters here, lots of hangers. So it's, it's coming along guys, it's coming along. So I'm gonna finish up in here and then I'm gonna hang some stuff I got from the shed yesterday. I'll show you guys a couple spring items that I pulled from my shed. Alrighty, so let me go ahead and put my hair half up because I am literally working. <laughs> okay, so I what I did was I put some sweaters here that I'm going to be wearing this spring because it is still cold and chilly this spring. So I put some there. <sighs> Next is this rack over here. So this rack, sorry guys, it's like very like gloomy so it's hard to get like bright in here. Um, this rack, I want it to be very much more dresses and pretty tops and blazers. And in here will be button up sweaters and like jackets. So I'm gonna show you guys a couple items I pulled from my shed and that I am currently going to enjoy because I'm excited about these. So these are my page pants, little pink pants that are so cute. Are corduroy so I'm gonna wear those this spring I try them on and they fit guys I am so excited that they fit I at one point I was like is anything ever gonna fit me again and they fit me thank God okay then I have this pretty dress that I got when I was pregnant with Rose I was like I cannot wait to wear it so now is going to be the time this spring for this beautiful dress so I have this dress Okay, this top, do you guys remember this top I got from Zara? It's gonna be so pretty this spring. When I went through those bins, I was like, oh my gosh, I forgot I had that top. I forgot I got that, but I'm happy I got it all. So then you guys remember this dress I got from the thrift store that's so pretty. I need to wash that, but I'll just show you all. Okay, and then this blazer is always fun for spring. I don't know if I wore it last year, but I need to wear it. It is so pretty. I need to put some blazers away that need, that are a little too dark for um, spring. And I just want to like wear everything. And I'm really surprised with myself because I have about maybe like 10 plus items that I'm getting rid of. And that's big for me. If you know me, Christian Seville loves to, loves, loves, loves to, you know, save her clothes. But it's time though that I just, I'm like really focused on like, does this look like me? Am I gonna wear it? Am I happy when I'm wearing it? Sometimes, you know, there's those pieces that you just don't like, but you keep and you're like, why do I keep this? But I'm trying to get better. I want my closet to like be my happy place and I want it to be a place where I wear everything and that's my goal, that's my goal. I have this cute little sweater I got from Zara, purple. So I'm really pulling out all my Easter colors. <laughs> then this little sweater that's so cute, gray. Um, I think I showed you guys this it's from the thrift store too. That's fun for spring. Uh, my sister gave me this see by Chloe, but look at it's a horse, a jean horse. That is so me. So that's going where my sweaters go. I even like to rotate my sweaters. There are some sweaters that I'm like over. So 
I like just to put them away and then I'll get them out again and be excited about them. Okay, this skirt, you guys remember this skirt? So pretty for, pretty for spring. Okay, I like to put my skirts in here. This is really gonna help me with getting ready. Okay, then also I have these flare wide leg from Paige that I'm going to put with my jeans. I pulled out quite a bit of jeans, so I'm excited about that. Not all because, you know, skinny jeans are not like, like are not like, I'm not really wearing skinny jeans at the moment. You know what I mean? More straighter. So my mother-in-law gave me these. These are Zara Woman's. I thought they're so cute for spring. Little pink. Yeah, a pink trouser you can keep forever. Okay. Woo! I need a coffee break now. <laughs> need some coffee. Okay, and then um, these guys. Oh my gosh, these are so cute for spring. These are Joe's coated brown chestnut pants that are so cute. They could be for fall too, but I think a good tan and brown chestnut will look so cute with like this. Let me show you. Woo! Like this. That is so cute. I would totally, totally wear it. I probably will wear it. Okay. My goal is to dress up more this year. Just not be in workout leggings. Dress up. <laughs> These are a frame skinny I am going to have in my closet just in case you know. You never know when you need a skinny. These are Levi's. Gray Levi's. I haven't worn these since I got pregnant. Oh my gosh, I'm so excited. And then, let me put those where the Levi's go. Okay. Then we have these page fun black pants that have ribbon the bottom. Yep. I'm that girl. <laughs> okay, so all my jeans, I have a lot out now compared to what I used to have. I am golden because I have quite a bit of pants that fit me now. I'm so excited. A couple more tops to hang and then we are going to organize my little rack. I want to style it and make it look all pretty so I could have get I mean get in the mood for spring. And then Rosie's, I kind of went through hers the other day. Um but I need to go through it again as well. So and then I'll, so this is a set right here. I don't have to wear it as a set but it's a set. Okay and then this is my favorite Reformation little sweater. I can wear this every single day, but I have to pace myself when I wear it. Like this one. This is great quality, this Reformation sweater. It literally um, has done so well. There's a little bit of balls on it, but I've worn it so many times. It is, um, hey, 70% recycled cashmere, 30% cashmere. So this one has done so well, this Reformation. It was probably like $150, okay? Got it for a great deal though. But then we have this one. This was, I paid maybe like 10. And you can tell the quality, um, definitely tell the quality in that. So yeah, you kind of, you do what you, you do what, you do get what you pay for, you know? So yeah. Okay, so I'm gonna show you guys my rack and then I'm gonna show you guys before and after. Okay, so here we have here what my rack looks like right now. I took off two blazers so far. Then we have some of Rosie's dresses. I wanna organize and get all clean and cute. So we have some new Zara pieces here and free people. So what I wanna do is I just wanna hang a lot of the dresses and then I'll put some of the blazers and pretty sweaters in between. I just want this to look like a store and I want it to look pretty. And then whatever else I'll put in my closet, which is looking so good right now and clean because everything is folded. So I'm happy with that, especially for the closet space I have. 
I think this is like, you know, I'm in, I'm working with what I got. So um, let me go ahead and do this section and um, do what I can do here. on the top rack and then here on Rosie's I put some dresses and it's crazy how fast she's growing she's in six she's six to nine right now months of clothes and it's wild here I have her diaper bags and then her little dirty um, clothes little basket so this is it so far and then in here I just have it all clean and everything hanging really nice. And then I have to put these white cowgirl boots on top up there. And then um, I have to unbox these Jeffrey Campbell boots. Okay, and then I'm gonna go ahead and clean the mirror and polish this cabinet and then clean that mirror. So the this area is just clean and fresh. I'm going to do that really quick and then I'm going to show you guys my new pillows and a couple little pieces in the living room. It's crazy how fast time is going today. It's going so fast. feels so clean okay so I was able to do this today thank you Jesus um, I want to show you guys those pillows in the living room some point today um, but yeah this took a lot out I need to take that clothes that's on the bed to the shed um, there's just so much to do when you do a little clean out and so um yeah, and my husband is so sweet. He's been watching Rosie. And um, there's just, it's never ending, it feels like. But um, yeah, I'll talk to you guys in a bit. So I'm going to put the pillows on the couch to see how they look. So let's see how they look. I'm excited about this because I think they're going to look really cute. So I'm going to put you all down right here. And let's see if they look okay. Rosie's in her little swing, Preston's on his computer, so um, today is going by really fast. So this is one pillow, let's see how they look. Rosie, tell me if you like them. Okay, let's fluff this up. I still need to clean our whole couch like the whole couch I need to clean it um so if you guys know of a good clean solution for the couch let me know because I, I want to clean that probably this month for sure okay so let's see where they might like really add something to this couch oh I like it press do you like it very cute actually Actually, it brightens it up. Let me flip this one up. Rose, do you like it? I think I like it, guys. I think I like that. Let me show you close up. This is how the pillow, this is how they look. Okay, I really like that. I like it. I like it. Look how pretty. Okay, and then I added a new picture of a horse. I found that one at Hobby Lobby. So, I think I like it. 
which is vacuums. I'm going to put these guys probably on my bed. They're probably going to go on my bed, and the pillows on my bed will probably go in the shed. And then I added, let me show you all. One second, move these pillows. I added this picture of Preston and I. It's one of my favorites now. I added that there. I got this garland from Hobby Lobby. It has little shamrocks in it for St. Patrick's Day. So that's something new. That picture's new. This garland's new. That little plant has been there for a couple weeks. And then, um, what else, Rose? There's Rose right there. Jumping. Gotta put that bag away behind the door. Here we have this little center right here. My flowers, I don't wanna let them go. They look so pretty still. That's clothes that I'm getting rid of. Toys I gotta put away. So yeah, it's coming together. Next will be my little Easter section. Um, see if I do that today or tomorrow, but I'm thirsty and I need to go get a drink. Well, it is 4.35 and it's time for a piece of Irish soda bread in honor of my husband. Oh wow, you feel honored. Irish soda bread and then I have, I just made some hot coffee. So I'm about to cut a piece of this yummy bread and I'm going to warm it up and put some butter on it. I'm so excited. So this is my little break because I've been going to town all day. already probably almost seven I tried on this new baby Bajorn guys I highly recommend the zero to three one better than the mini because this one has back support so it literally is like I can put it tighter too um, I just tried it on really quick from when press wore it and uh -oh, and um, I feel like this has so much more support I highly recommend it because I used to feel it on my back, but now I'm like, it feels so good. And we're figuring it out even like for her legs and there's just so much to it, but I like it and I'm still learning it. And I, she just loves to be on me. So it's already worth every penny that we paid for it. <laughs> I'm gonna link it down below, but I really like it. And this brown is definitely mama. Look at, I have the brown on. Then this little brown leopard, and then, yeah. So it's already later. Oh, I feel like I did a lot today, and I still am finishing my room up, f finishing cleaning it up, and I sorted a lot of her clothes out. It's so sad how fast she goes through her clothes. I put a few new dresses out, like this one from Janie and Jack. That is so cute. And then I'll just throw it on top so you can see. Then I got this one from Janie and Jack that I thought was adorable. It comes with little bottoms. Um, yeah, so cute. I don't know. Let me see here. What size? I think I got 12 to 18. Oh, sorry guys, I didn't even show you. Um, 12 to 18 months. So um, yeah, so cute, these little outfits I got for her. I'm realizing you have to put your babies in their clothes like before the actual month because if not, they just grow out of it way too fast, huh, Rosie? And I've been putting her in this H&M sweater for a long time because she has a couple sweaters and it's just easy to put with her little leggings, but um, I need to put dress her up more because I realize I don't dress her up as much as I should because she does have more clothes and she needs to wear them all, so, you know. Learning is a first time mama. But um, yeah, so I think um, I'm just gonna continue cleaning. Let's see if I chat with y'all a little, little bit later, but um, it's just been, you know, busy little day. And then I'll open my door here 
And then I'm slowly cleaning still. So I put all the clothes away in the shed. I had to put Preston's backpack away. These clothes are drying on this drying rack. Put a lot of Rosie's clothes away. Cleaned up there. And then um, that's her little dock. Traded pillows out, so it's already dark outside. Um, my next little project is just to clean this section right here, and then I'm pretty much done for the night. So let me finish that last little project right there. clean this little section right here it just has our rings watch Preston's um, wallet and then I have my Bible right there and his glasses <laughs> look at Rosie <laughs> I'm just gonna light this candle and then I'm gonna call it a night I'll see y'all tomorrow morning light this candle Rosie's probably like what are you doing, Mom? She's loving that. There we go. Okay, guys, we'll see you in the morning. Also, I just want to share my yummy food. I made chicken, brown rice. These little guys are my favorites. Zucchini. And um, so we put some um, onions and some broccoli. So yummy yum. I just had to share with you. So we are going to head out really quick um, and go get this item I need and then we have to go to Trader Joe's and then um, where else? Oh, coffee of course. So we're about to head out. Rosie's still asleep. I'm going to get her up right now. It is um, I think 8 a.m. So um, I just finished getting ready. I put on a hat because this weather is still rainy today. So I put on a hat because I know my hair would get all fluffy. And then I put this cozy like cashmere sweater on, which is really, really cozy and warm. Then I have my um, coated pants on. And then um, I just have, I have to put my shoes on. Rosie dropped that yesterday. What is it? Oh, it's a little plastic container. Um, but yeah, so I need to put some shoes on. I'm just going to take my um, brown backpack because it's raining. And then I think I just might throw some goldies on because my white golden goose because they're easy to clean and it's wet. I don't want to wear leather boots or suede boots out because it's raining. So yeah, but guys, I saw a rainbow. There was a rainbow out this morning. I was literally getting ready and I saw the rainbow. I was like, oh, so pretty. God's promise. So, um, yeah, let me put my shoes on and I'm going to wake baby girl up and then we're going to head out. I'll take you along with me, see how much we do. Um, but yeah, it's like run in, run out at Orsham's and then, um, run in, run out. And then, um, yeah, it's, um, 
Saturday, so let's see how busy the mall is. But I was like, I want to wear this cozy cashmere sweater before, you know, the sun starts coming out and before it gets too hot. So I think it's a perfect day for that. Okay, guys, um, I'll see y'all when we get in the car. Well, we just got to Nordstrom's. We have my mother with us, <laughs> with me. We have Honey Bunny, which is my niece. And then we have Rosie. Yeah. She's getting Rosie out of the car seat right now. She's been such a good girl. She's so happy. You happy. <laughs> yes, she is. She's so happy. So we're going to go in really quick and then grab what we need. And then after that, we have a couple more errands to do. But um, it is a gloomy day out here. I do want to see if they have a cafe. Do they have a cafe at this one? I want a coffee. I know so. the restaurant, but I don't know about I think they do. I think they do. Mm -hmm. um, so I want to get, um, yeah, a coffee. Yes. So we are just waiting for them to open because my mom wanted to leave <laughs> <laughs> an hour before they opened. Oh, and wow. it, it only took us, what, 24 minutes to get here? Yes. Um, so yeah. Well, but we're trying to hurry up because we want to get home. I know, because my brother, Eric, mm -hmm. is coming in today. Um, so he's flying in for a week. So um, we want to be home when he gets there. <laughs> yes, because this mommy misses him. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so we're going to run in in 20 minutes when it opens. has hers. Honey got a honey almond latte. latte. That's her name, honey. Um, but we are headed out now. Nordstrom's did not have what we're looking for. We're looking for watches and Nordstrom's did not have them. So we are think, heading to Nordstrom Rack now. So, yep. We came all this way and they don't have them, but it's okay. We're having good times together. So Trader Joe's car lunch break let's say lunch break i got their caesar salad um about to eat it in the car we did a little run really quick um to grab a few things and then now we're in the car rosie she's i'm gonna feed her really quick and then we're heading home guys it's already almost it's 12 30. we have been going since 9 a.m looking for this pair of watches and it's been non-stop but we found them thank god and now we're about to eat then head home um and then um yeah we're good we're solid so i'm happy we got a coffee and i'm happy we got a little salad to eat in the car and then um yeah so i'll talk to you guys when i get home good morning guys it is sunday morning it's like I last left off with you guys in the car eating a salad. Um, yesterday was a super busy day. We got home and we ended up just spending time with family. Um, it was Saturday, so my brother came in from North Carolina, so we just actually hung out, which was fun. Um, and um, so I was like, I'll talk with y'all tomorrow morning. Um, so um, yes, I hope you guys enjoyed this vlog. I really just kind of went through my closet, got spring clothes out to put some winter clothes away because um, this video is going out when it's the first week of spring. So um, I hope you guys enjoyed that. Um, but it was so funny. It's so gloomy outside today. It looks like it wants to rain. Yesterday it rained. So I was like, it's still, I mean, you know, it won't feel like spring, I don't think, for a couple weeks still. But it's okay. I'm enjoying this weather. I so this is the vintage um, blazer I got at the thrift store I showed you guys 
when I was doing a lot of the unboxings on this um, in the beginning of this vlog. Um, this is from the thrift store. I think I paid was it two dollars for it? Um, I really like the print. It's like brown, and it has some blue turquoise, um, like orangish red coral. Then I threw on this headband. Let me show y'all. I thought this headband was really fun. I was like, I have to wear it. So this weather is really crazy. Um, my hair wants to be frizzy. So I hair sprayed it because my hair can get frizzy because it's naturally curly. I just have this little headband on. So what I did was I was like, you know what? I need to tame it. So I hair sprayed it and then I just put this little gem on. So now I can have my hair down, but it's out of my face and I feel a little put together for church. So that's what I did with my hair. I just threw on a black long sleeve and then I have on some gray Levi's, which I just first time wearing them from pre-pregnancy. I pulled them out of my bin and I was like, yay, they fit. It's, it's so exciting when a pair of jeans fits, you know? So um, we're about to head to church. When I get back from church, I want to show you guys a couple. I did a mini Trader Joe's haul. Um, I thought this would be fun. I usually don't. Usually I just kind of get the same stuff at Trader Joe's, but I ended up finding like five things that I want to share with you guys and try with you guys. So um, I'm probably going to do that when I get back from church, but we got to go. I'm going to leave in 30 minutes. I have to get Rosie up, change her, press, <laughs> and then um, we're leaving. So I'll see you guys when I get back from church. Um, so I'll see y'all in a bit. I want to share, I want to do a quick Trader Joe's haul with you guys. Um, I got four items at Trader Joe's that caught my attention and I want to try them with you guys. Press, do you want to try them with me? Oh gosh. I doesn't want to. Let's see. So I got the onion confit swirls. It's the savory puff pastry crackers. I got these and I saw them and I was like, oh my gosh, anything onion, like onion soup. Anything onion is her, right up her alleyway. She likes raw onions. So I do. So this is a little baggie. Strong? No. Oh yeah, that's strong. Mm-hmm. Okay, let's look how little. It's a little puff pastry. So let me try this. And Rosie, you just get to watch us. Sorry. <laughs> good? Mid? Mmm, that's good. It's definitely a cracker. It has the taste of onion, but it would be really good, like with cream cheese or onion. Mm -hmm. like spread it needs a spread but these are really good even for if you do like the chicory boards it has pickles on the picture this will be really good because they do taste like onion they are like a puff pastry style but i would use you need like you need like cream cheese on top so that's one item Rosie wants to eat all of this and she can't i know she just ate more carrots i made her homemade um, baby food carrots her own carrot puree. Um, garlic and black pepper almonds. I did open these up. Amazing. These are so good. Press off, they are going to be really hot, but they're not. I was going to say, that really sounds like a... You can see how they look. They are, they are honestly so good. They're not too um, garlicky and not too peppery. They're not hot at all. Mm. These are so good. Okay. You know, look at it. I'm like, I go for like onion garlic flavors. Okay, then we have this. Babe, what is, how do you say this? The pecan popcorn. Seasoned with nutritional yeast, onion, again, onion, sea salt, and garlic. Garlic and onion. So, jam. when we were checking out at the cashier, we asked the workers, Have you tried these? And they're like, to be honest, the, no. Oh, it's popcorn. Yeah, it's pecan popcorn. They're like, to be honest, no. We don't even know what that word means. <laughs> it's like spicy, right? Isn't it pecan or picante or pecan? It kind of sounds like that. Mm. Good? Like what the guy said, there's not crazy amount of flavor, mm -hmm. but it, you do taste the garlic, I would say, and the onion. You do have like, you do taste a little different taste. Want to try Sure, why not? 
When in Rome. Oh, baby girl, you can't have one, my love. Look, there's not a crazy amount of flavor. Hmm. But they're nice good. Flavor, though. But they're good, like a smooth flavor. Yeah. I like the bag. The packaging got me. Okay, and then these ones I got. Mm -hmm. Last item. Um, caramel puff pastry biscuits. So these are up my alley. These look like your elephant ears. Yes. I actually don't want to try one. Because Preston and I have carrot cake to eat, and this is sweet already. Yeah, that's true. And I don't want Show to like the crush little... the taste of the sweetness already with, you know. Look at that. But this guy is from Trader Joe's, and their carrot cake Ooh, is my absolute look fave. Look at that. It looks so good. We're going to half that. So that's from Trader Joe's. Um, and then the, these little guys, these are nail. Um, they look good. But I know they're going to be good because I love anything puff pastry. So those are like four little items I got at Trader Joe's and saw and had to share with you guys. Um, but yeah, it is Sunday. It is two o'clock. We came straight home from church. We ate here. And then um, now we're just going to chill and relax together and um, have a good Sunday. I need to edit my vlog so it can go out on Monday. And um, yeah, but I'm just going to end today's vlog here and say thank you guys so much for watching this vlog. I hope you enjoyed it, and I hope I helped you get inspired for spring. Oh, don't grab mommy's hair. Spring clean out oh, no. and spring Sorry. organizational <laughs> closet. Um, little girl. Little girl. Her little grabbing hands want to grab everything. If we got I close know. enough, she'd want to grab the camera. Press. Thank you guys for watching. I had to move the camera. Um, little Rosie, you know. <laughs> loves the camera uh, but yes thank you guys so much for watching um, if you have not subscribed to my channel subscribe to my channel a new video comes out for you guys every Monday thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you on my next vlog bye